So there is a video on YouTube recently uploaded by an Austrian phenomenon, very young, talented player, who I actually publicly called a Wunderkind on Disc Golf Network this summer, uh, a couple of occasions, about how to use the hips properly in disc golf. What I tend to hear pretty often in these form videos is that once you're in a reach back position, like so, you're supposed to get your belt buckle, so your hips, facing the target. So kind of like this, you're in your reach back, probably after your run up, reach back, and then you want to get your hips facing here, so that your disc can go there as well. Yeah, in general, this is absolutely true, but I hope Leon will tell something about it a little bit more specific, because rotating the hips is not the way to do it. That is generally speaking true, but there is a wrong way to do this and there is a right way to do this. And today I want to talk about the right way to do it and also kind of the wrong way to do it so, so you guys know what's up. So I know that guys like Drew Gibson, for example, talk about getting the belt buckle to the target. So as I said, reach back, getting the hips to face the target, and that's where you're gonna throw. But what a lot of people tend to do, and that is the wrong way, is they're in this reach back position. And in order to get their belt buckle to face the target, what they do is they start to push their hip into that direction. Exactly. People do this all the time because they think the power lies in the back leg. So they push off the back leg, thinking it will give them more power, more rotation, but the reality is the contrary. It will leak the power if you push off the back leg, just as the Wunderkind himself is telling you. So they kind of push their hip forward. And when you do that, you're pushing into nothing because your, your left side of the hip doesn't have anywhere to push against. So you're not really gaining any power from that. Yeah, exactly. Because you need to get all the weight and pressure to the front leg. You cannot do that if you're pushing the back leg to the ground. You simply can't push both legs to the ground at the same time. You have to pick your sides and the right side is the front side, not the back side. You might face the target with your hips, but you're not getting any power from that. So. Here's how that's kind of going to look. So this is the wrong way to do it. Exactly. If you saw what he did there, he wasn't properly braced because he was focusing on the back leg. As you can see, after the shot, I was kind of right here because I didn't really stop. So even though your hips are kind of facing the target, you're not really benefiting from it at yeah, all. The thing is not to just rotate your hips so that the belt buckle faces the target. You have to brace properly and it's all in the front leg. Subscribe to this young fella. He knows what he's talking about. And by the way, I have played with him several times and I've seen how far he can throw. He can throw 600 with no effort whatsoever. It's amazing. That way you're really gonna see a lot of pros do this or most pros do this. When they hit the ground and they turn, they're almost in like a straight leg position. That's not because they actively do this motion right here. It's because they're actively pushing their right hip back. And what's, what that's gonna do is you're gonna push yourself into the ground like this and it's gonna push your hip back and it's gonna be super fast. Yeah, exactly. Because you see that the knee is straightening. That doesn't mean that you need to straighten the knee. That actually can hurt your knee in the long run. But instead, you want to push to the ground so that the hip goes backwards, letting the rear hip come forward. But it's not the other way around. It's all in the front leg. Now, the left part of the hip doesn't have to move at all when you do this. You're in your position and watch my left hip. When I push, it's almost staying in place. Really, forget about the back leg. 
<laughs> so here's how that should look. Hit the pole there, but it's so fast. You get the point. I'll try another one. I'm really just trying to hit the ground, get my right hip back, and that's really that's everything I'm trying to do. Some smooth fella there, really. Look at the form. He's so smooth and fast. So now you just saw how to do it the wrong way and the right way. But now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how to check for yourself if you are doing it the right way or the wrong way. And something that I always do is when I throw a shot and I'm working on my hips being right, I try to check where my body goes after I release the disc. Because if you're just pushing with your left hip and you're doing it wrong, you're probably not stopping and you're probably exiting the throw to the front left, because that's where your hip goes. You're from this position, and you go here. Whereas if you do it the right way, you should just stop right there. So that's the easy way to check it. Check where you are going after the throw. Yeah, still one of my most popular videos is about the bracing. And in that video, I talk about not rotating through the throw. You have to stop your momentum to the front hip. If you don't do that, you will just run through the brace, leaking a lot of power. But people think that if you do that, that's the proper follow through or the proper way to use the hips because naturally you are rotating like that. Yeah, it feels powerful, but it is not powerful. You're just using excess power. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about some common errors when it comes to hip placement other than this hip pushing. The general rule is, for me at least, and it applies for everybody, when you push into the ground, the ground pushes you back. Yeah, it's like Chuck Norris doing push-ups. When he is doing push-ups, he's not pushing himself up, he's actually pushing the earth down. So throw like Chuck Norris is doing push-ups. Pretty simple rule. If you push straight down, you're gonna jump, for example. So a lot of people, when they try to really commit to a shot, they really come from above and they like stump the ground. And that might feel powerful and energetic, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, this is actually a good rule of thumb. If you feel that you use a lot of power and you get fatigued when you throw, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are actually powerful. It means that you are using too much power and you're just draining yourself. Throwing should be easy. That power is just pushing you back and you're messing up everything. So in order to get the right hip back and get some really nice rotation here, you have to push into the ground almost sideways. So instead of coming from up above, you want to come really from the side and plant the foot nice and horizontally so that the ground can push your hip back for you. Yeah, basically it is like this. But there are some players like Garrett Gerthy who are coming from very high up and then they almost bounce up. So it's more uh, a vertical kind of brace but sure when you go horizontally and you stop the momentum that also gives you a lot of power but if you are pushing down that means you are pushing from up to down you can't push vertically only you have to have a little bit of upwards momentum also let's see how that looks i'm really actively trying to go nice and flat here and just push myself back it doesn't even need a lot of run-up. I'm gonna do a short one here. That's enough power for 99% of, of the shots on the course. And another pretty common mistake that I see is when people are trying to get their right hip back, they're not really getting it back. They're kind of swaying it out here. And first of all, that's really gonna hurt your hip because that's just not a very natural motion. And second of all, it's not producing any power. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't produce you any power to be a spaghetti trying to move around just with a loose hip. Again, it might feel powerful because you feel the stretch and you may hurt yourself. But again, there is no power in a loose knee twisting around or a loose hip going forward. You really need to have a very firm stance on the ground to which you can throw against. There's no power in having a loose hip swinging around like this. Yeah, let's stop right here. Finish the video on Leon Zontleitner's channel. Go to his channel, like, subscribe. He's a great guy. And above all, he thinks exactly the same way as I do about the hips. Also, subscribe to my channel, like, subscribe, do whatever maneuvers you want to do to make this channel a little bit more popular by it, because that way I get more money and <laughs> you might learn how to throw discs a little bit more efficiently. Good luck for the practice. Bye.